Hello everyone, welcome back to the Goody Life where life is good and everything is great. And today's video is a little bit different. I'm calling it a bonus video. Really fun. So I wanted to share the last live IG video that we did this Saturday. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome back to our IG Live cooking on Saturday. Yep. Yes. Happy Saturday! It's Happy Saturday, everybody! It's the weekend, and we told you guys we we're gonna do a Dubai cooking yep. this week, right? So yep, yep. we did our honeymoon travels while we were in Dubai. Uh -huh. So we decided we wanted to do our cuisine from there. But before we um. So before we it's get started, let's here, get a drink. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, sure. It's a very hot day. What is the temperature here today? Hot. Hot? <laughs> the temperature is hot? It's probably not Texas, but hey, it's hot. Yeah, it is hot, and we have to wear these outfits that we wanted to show you guys and tell you guys about. Yep, yep, yep. So we're even hotter because of the outfit we're wearing right now. So we're having just, we have some leftover. Moscato. Moscato. This is like a sweet wine. It's super good. Super safe. It's like a dessert yeah. wine, right? It's a dessert wine and it has mango flavor. Yeah. So. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Saturday. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's Saturday. I'm sorry. I haven't even drank the wine yet. Yes, it's Saturday. I don't know why Yay! she's calling Let's it Friday. Happy, Happy Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So it's super hot here. But we wanted to show you guys our outfit we're wearing. Thank you. This outfit, this is actually because today, um, Varun, we're doing um, a cuisine from Dubai. So we decided to wear our Dubai outfit. And this is an abaya that yes. I'm wearing. Yeah, that's what an abaya. And I'm wearing a head headgear from uh, that what Emirati people wear. It's called as a shamag. Mm -hmm. S-H-E-M-A-G-H. -H. And this is a black thing that goes on top of it. It's called as an agal. So you'll see in uh, in Dubai, people don't show, um, you know, none of their uh, head is showing even for male and female. Yeah, it's so a... So they have a headgear, so you know, that's their crown. It's right? Sunday morning in India. Wow, thank you for joining in. What time is it there? It's 6 p.m. here. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Wow, you're up early, Varun. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining us. So yeah, in, in Dubai, people um, do dress a little bit more conservatively. Actually, we were there in 2016 for our right. honeymoon. And while we were there, some of the things we found out was we wanted to visit the Grand Mosque. And in order to go there, you had to be covered. You had to wear something that was covering your body and covering your head. And a lot of people that was on that tour with us they didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So they weren't allowed to go in there. So if you are going to Dubai, make sure you take something that would cover you up, especially if you want to visit some of their religious places. By all yeah. means, we should very much so respect a country and their culture when we're visiting them so yep. when we're there we respect that so we got this outfit so I could go to the Grand Mosque I even had it altered while I was yeah, there yeah 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 so we bought it in Dubai uh, we were in Dubai for almost seven days you know so yeah, yeah. oh yeah I, I, I almost tripped earlier <laughs> I was wearing I put this outfit on in here and I was walking and I almost tripped because it's a pretty long one it covers your feet but yep. You, you gotta wear it when you're there, especially if you want to see stuff and go around and travel and do some of the cool stuff that the yeah. local people do there. Yeah. You have to respect the custom, you know. Yeah, so, guys so wear it. a similar thing, you know, it's, except that it's white. But uh -huh. yeah, you have to wear it all the time. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah. maybe yeah. for a couple of days it's pretty cool, but yeah, not all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. But so we talked about we're going to make our cuisine from when we were traveling there so we went two places we went to um abu dhabi and dubai and dubai right. so when we were in um actually where did we do the safari so we did the safari in dubai in dubai we were there, we were uh, staying in dubai for almost seven days right and uh, um we did the dhau cruise uh, mm -hmm. one day mm -hmm. which was on the river you know it was a river by the time by the way we went in uh, August, like end of July, August time frame, and it was like a really hot time then. 
so I would highly recommend if you are going in, do not go that time. You know, the, Dubai everywhere there is ACs. You know, even at bus stops there is ACs. But yeah, it was really hot. It was like over 100 degrees. Yeah, Dubai is a very it's 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 a heaty country. I don't even know how to say it. Even the air that you are breathing in, and it's not like the, even the India air. No, it's not. It's even it's, hotter. Yeah, it's, it's a it's, desert. It's so. a desert. So it's very warm air. The cool thing is though. Every single place has AC. So you, unless you're outside in the desert like we were when we were doing the tour, mm -hmm. you're normally always in an AC environment. So you're pretty cool at yeah. all time. Yeah. But yeah, so we went on the safari. So we did the safari one day, then we did the, uh, the desert, um, the desert in a four by four. Yeah, so we did that. That was desert awesome. Safari. Mm -hmm, that was yeah, yeah, desert safari. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, so we went on that and we went off-roading a bit, which is pretty cool because you see all the red sand out there in the desert. Mm -hmm. And then they took us and once we get way back, like after a few hours of driving internally, we got to this place where they had this really, really cool setup where they had some belly dancer, a guy doing like this, what do you call those pyro people? Yeah, there's like a fire dance. It was like a fire dance where he was spinning fire out of his mouth and spinning fire like and things yep. like that. <laughs> and so, yeah. they were cooking a lot of food. We had food there and one of the things we noticed when we were in Dubai, mm -hmm. they serve food in a bounty full. Yep, yep, You're yep. never ever hungry there. It, didn't, it doesn't matter where you eat or if it was a restaurant, if it was a fancy restaurant, or you were eating like where we were eating in the safari, you get a lot of food. Like this one meal that we had, it came with meat, right? Um, the yeah, well, chicken was legs. A, yeah, it was a buffet. So there was like chicken legs, uh, chicken kebabs, you know, different kind of kebabs, seek kebabs, boti kebabs, all kind of things. Yeah. All different kind of food. And not just the local food, but they also had like Chinese food, they had fries. Uh, yeah. You know, so they have different like, cuisine. Yeah. But wherever we went, we realized when they serve food, they serve it a lot. You don't have yeah. to be worried about you're going to eat less. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and tell us about what you're making at Tuna, what yep, you have going yep. on. So uh, we're going to make two different things. One is the tangri kebab and uh, you know, so I have it marinated here. What I have is I have drumsticks um, and I have uh, all the different seasonings in it. I have some chili powder, I have some uh, masala, just garam masala, you know, I have salt, pepper, lemon juice and I have some oil in there and I put it all in a ziplock. Um, it's easy you know, to mix. That way it's easier to mix it and I just mixed it all good. So you know, sure. if you see it. It's best to put it in a Ziploc because you can really marinate it well. You also don't have to get a container dirty. Yeah, yeah. And you have it going and ready. So I'm gonna put, so we'll take that in a bit. But the other thing I have is I have just pieces of uh, cubes of chicken, right? And we are gonna make seek kebab with this. Mm -hmm. So um, I have my skewers here and what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna put these in all of these skewers. And what this has also, is uh, it has some chili it has some ginger garlic powder and uh, it also has uh, some yogurt in it and some food color let me show how it looks yep. and, and you want to marinate all of this overnight yep when you're cooking it and then we're just going to put these in these skewers um you know wooden skewers um you could add veggie on it if you want to right yeah you can add some onions you can add some onions but we're just making it back the way we had it while we were there. Oh yeah, Dubai, it was rough, just meat. It's a meat you know? fest so, over yeah. there. Yep, so there you go. That's, oh, can you put some uh, spray? Can you oh that? yes. And you want to spray your pan just so it doesn't stick. And wait till you guys see what we're baking it in. Cooking it in. Cooking it in, yeah, cooking it in. So can you go over the ingredients one more time? So everybody, you said you had yogurt. What else did you have in there? So I have yogurt. I have some chili powder. Mm -hmm. I have some, um, um, you know, coriander powder. I have some cumin powder. Uh, I have garam masala in it. I have some black pepper also. I have lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I have yogurt in it as well. Uh, so yeah. And so yeah. So you have quite a few things in there. Yeah, right? and this is, you can make it with chicken breast, you can make it with chicken thighs. Uh, I have thighs here because uh, thighs actually, uh, they have a little fat in it. So, you know, they make it, they are like a little more juicier when you make mm -hmm. this thing. It's a bit, it's tender, right? So, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yep. So, so how many uh, skewers are you making? Let's see, I'm thinking maybe we'll make three. Three, okay. Yeah. Looks like Atula is going to have two skewers and I'm going to have one. 
part will make four. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see how. And again, it's really important that you marinate your meat overnight so that all the flavor soaks up in. As you can see, there are tiny pieces of meat, so they yes. hold the flavor really well. Yes, that's true. And yeah, we had this marinate overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, actually, we might be able to do four. So okay. Let's just do four. I think I'll move this over. Yes. See, one side. Add one more layer. Yeah. You wash my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop some tissues because I think you're gonna need it. Oh, I'll wash my hands just now. Yep, and I have soaked this overnight as well. Mm-hmm. Marination is like really important. It just makes it more uh, juicier yeah. and tender. Yeah, you can add it on. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I'll probably add it to this guy. Okay. Until has to measure off these meat guys. <laughs> it has to balance well. It has to balance well. Well, then I'm gonna get the smaller skewers and you know, Goody will get the bigger ones. So. Oh my goodness. Or maybe not. <laughs> these are ready to go. So I'm just gonna lift this yeah. so you can put your. Yeah. No, can you keep that bowl here? So I can just push this across. Can you show it? Like, yep, I will. So this is once you have it ready. This is what it looks like. It's marinated. It's on the skewer, and I just have it on a rack to get cooked. And then we have the next chicken here, a tool. And I'll spray your pan while you talk about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, as I was saying, you know, these are just drumsticks and you could probably even do both of them with the same seasonings, right? I just have a little different seasoning because it's like um, just giving a little different perspective to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I'm wow, just this is looking really good. On the pan. Maybe alternate. Uh, should be okay. Okay. And you can marinate this and keep it for a couple of days. So if you just want to make like like if you have like eight pieces marinated, but you only need two pieces, right? You just cook two pieces, you leave it in the zip locker, you make the rest the next day or a couple of days later. So you can always do that. That's a cool thing when you're marinating chicken, you can let it stay though if it's sitting. It's yeah. Getting well marinated into the juices. Yeah, and there is a lot of juice also. I probably won't use it in, but yeah. So the other thing now you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Let me show this. And now this is the chicken that we have. Perfect. So, so what we are going to, and these get cooked on the charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. Charcoal or the oven or anything. But what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be doing a little healthier version of it. So we yeah. have, a, so we are going to be making it in an air fryer. And this is yes. my birthday gift That's that Goody got for me. So, um, you know, so I'm like uh, really uh, very happy with it. So I've been using this for the past two weeks a lot, a lot, a lot, Atul a lot. is in love with this thing, guys. He has been using it every day since he got it. He's made fries in it. He's made chicken in, a, in it already. He made a few different cuisine in here. Actually, it's a nine. Yeah, it's an Insta. In, uh, it's the same company that makes Instapot. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and uh, it it has like nine different things. You know, you can air fry in it, roast in it, bake in it, broil in it. You can de actually dehydrate uh, fr fruits in it as well. So yeah, so you can so, do many many things in yeah. it. And I found it really helpful. This is just the two of us. I don't I, I don't know about you guys, but I use my oven something where I store stuff so, in it. So, so this is let's really good. Put it in here yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ready. Talk about it. Oh yes, it's ready to go in, huh? So I'm gonna put these, and these are like three levels, so uh, you know, we're gonna put that on the first level, and then these need a little spray on them as well. Yeah, so it's really easy, if it's two person, you can bake dessert, you can make different stuff in here. So, Hi, Yash. And so that's good, yeah. and then you close it, and what's next, the tool? So I have it at 100. 400. 400 degrees, and I'll, I have, let me keep it for 20 minutes. So what's gonna happen is uh, in 10 minutes, um, you know, I'll just flip them on the other side, right? Uh, at least the drumsticks. But yeah, right now what's happening is uh, there's a big fan inside and you know, all of this, and it really cooks it very well. And it's gonna come out juicy and nice. And the other fun thing about this um, Instapot 
is that it came with a skewer and uh, like you can really cook a full chicken in it. Yeah, yeah, you can cook yeah, a whole chicken. chicken. It has the basket chicken. for the fries. Yeah, and it has a fryer basket to yeah. make those fries and everything. Yes. So yeah, it's really cool. So we really like it. We got it for his birthday. He's been using it ever since. He super liked that product. Let me move some of this stuff over and get started with the rice. So another famous thing or something that they eat a lot when they make because they cook a lot of meat product while we were traveling in Dubai was they were they had their Arabic rice there's a there's the Arabic rice which is super duper easy to make so all I have here is some water soaked about three and a half cups of water because I'm doing two cups of rice it's very very important that you have if you could get basmati rice or some kind of long grain rice because you want the rice when you cook it when you fluff it you want it to look loose and it just looks nicer it looks nicer than the broken rice or the shorter mm -hmm. version of rice so can you drain this out we already washed it and soaked it we yeah, have to soak for like half an hour or so we have the water boiling here so basically if you're doing one cup of rice you'll do one and a half cup of water and then i have added some bay leaf couple of cinnamon stick, cardamom, and some clove. And then you want to add some salt to your water. And the water has been boiling, so the water has been going already. And then let's add the rice in. And now you just add in the rice. You want to be careful because you don't want it to splatter on you. And this rice, the flavor is coming from the spice that we just added in. And it's not like a biryani rice or anything like that. Let me see if I can get some of this water here to get the rest of the rice. It's not like a biryani rice or anything like that because we're not adding any other flavor to it. It's just having the whole spice in it. But it's going to have some color. And the color for this rice, let me add some more salt. The color from this rice comes from two things because if you look at Arabic rice when you're making this plain rice, you will notice that it looks somewhat um, yellow. Some of it is white, some of it is yellow. So what we have here is the saffron. So I added a few strands of saffron but that's not enough, I think, to get it super yellow. So I added some yellow food color. So once it's done, once this is done and I fluff it into a bowl, I'm going to pour this in and give it a spin. Or I might just keep it right in here and give it a spin. And it will be ready. So we have the rice on. It's cooking, as you guys can see. And I told you guys. We so yeah, so now we just wait. Because today's dinner is like really easy, you know. Do the marination you put it in here it's cooking there and then uh, the the rice also so it's mostly just us waiting <laughs> yeah it's a waiting period so we wanted to chit chat a bit while we're on our way so we have the rice going we have the chicken going and another thing what were you gonna make a two what else were you gonna add you're gonna add one more meat Oh yeah, I was gonna make some chicken seek kebabs as well, um, and those are with ground chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, but what happened was, I think I had a lot of onion in it, mm -hmm. so it became a little uh, soft. Yeah. So we're like I told you guys, we're not chefs, so we also have blunders. I think even chef have blunders happen. Yeah, so you gotta we... watch Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have been binge watching Hell's Kitchen. You guys know this already. We're in season eleven now. So we have these two set of meat, but another meat that we had in there that we got while we was there was these seek kebabs, so they were ground meat with the marination, but we made those and it got a little bit soft. It's a little bit too loose to fit on the skewer, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them into patties because it still has all the flavor, it still have all the yeah. tastiness to yeah, it, yeah. so we're gonna turn it into patties and then we're gonna bake those right in here too and we can have them almost making like chakli kebabs. No, Chapli kebab. Chapli kebab. <laughs> now we're moving over to Pakistan and India. We're getting real creative in our cuisine here. Yeah, but it's, it's all it's all pretty much you know the same inspiration, right? Persian food, yeah. Absolutely. I think India, Asia, um, some of the Middle Eastern, the Middle 
What is it called? Yeah, Middle Eastern. What did you what did you say? <laughs> Middle <laughs> Eastern <laughs> food. They have the same types of flavoring. That it's very similar. They have a lot of spices. They have a lot of flavor. They pack a lot of punch, and that's what makes the food so tasty. We growing up, we grew up eating really spicy food and rather yep. Yep. flavorful food. So whenever we travel. We love to eat these kinds of cuisine. Yep. So anytime we're in any part of Middle Eastern countries mm -hmm. or India, we really feel at home and we enjoy these cuisine so much. Yep. So, so the next thing I told you guys was I was going to show you guys some of the stuff we shop while we were in Dubai. So I don't know how many of you, if any of you at all, do a lot of shopping when you travel. We travel. We shop so much when we were in Dubai that we had to buy an extra suitcase. <laughs> yes, there was only one time. You guys know I always tell you guys I collect these shot glasses, but this time the rice. Oh, that's okay. Take the top off. Yeah. Yeah. So when we were in Dubai, just at one time we shopped quite a bit. We were on our honeymoon. We got a little bit excited, so we bought quite a few things and we ended up having to get a whole different suitcase so i'll walk over there and show you guys what are some of the stuff we got i hope you guys shop a lot what you want i hope you guys shop a lot while you travel sometime let me know comment below if you shop a lot but we did some shopping and i wanted to show you guys oh by the way dubai is known for one thing the gold as you can see my outfit is having all these fancy designs they're known for gold and having a lot of jewelry and gold. So most of the things I saw when we were there were in a, it was, was gold color, gold plated. So here are some of the things we got while we were traveling. And I'll show you guys each one of them in a bit. So we don't always shop like this. It's just this time we went a bit above and beyond our shopping so this is one of the cool things we bought there everything here is gold they're not real gold guys they're just fake but they have the color gold let me say that they're not real gold so we got this and what this is basically you can add like um saffron not saffron <laughs> what do you call this thing a tool that we add in? Soft, soft yeah indians call it soft and you just have it after you eat so you can add that in there and that's what this technically is for when we were in the safari we had this sand bottle made where we watched the guy actually just pour in sand and, huh he yeah he handmade this for us so it was really cool to see that got done and then one of my favorite thing was this set that we got there can you guys see it it's a super cool tea set. It comes apart. It has this part to it. And it has this little candle that you can just light. So when you add your tea in there and you turn that on, it keeps the tea warm. So you can have your tea and you can have warm tea. And these were the cups to go with it. Check that out. Isn't that super cute? That's really cute. And then I'll move over here to show you guys some of the other stuff we collected. So some of the other thing we collected was, as we were shopping, we got this tray. This is super cool. By the way, some of you are like, is she being bougie? No, I'm not. We grew up very poor, Atul and I. And we're very fortunate that we're able to afford some of these things. So we were very excited when we got married and we got some of these things. What these are actually, they are ring, they're napkin holders. So they're really cute. You guys saw me use them before when I put the nap napkins out on the plate. So you just use them like that. And then we also got this, which is for the tissues. And these are a cool set of utensils so you have this spoon right here these are all serving spoons so you just put them out to serve with you don't really use them in the kitchen yeah and one other cool thing we got while we were there we got hi Melly. we got um some perfumes and 
I wanted to show you guys, look at the bottle of how cool the bottles are. Everything, hi, <laughs> not, not a problem. Thank you for dropping in. I was just showing because we put the food in a while the food is getting cooked. I was just showing some of the cool stuff we bought when we were in Dubai because we completely went overboard with our shopping while we were there. So these are, these are some perfume we got from Dubai. And one of the things I can tell you about Dubai perfume, you can smell it from five miles away. <laughs> when you put it on, you can smell it from a far, far place. They wear very, very strong perfume. Even the men perfumes are very strong. So yeah, so these are, what did you say? We are watching a kid drama. Oh, that's cool, what are you watching? So these are some of the things we got. Do you over buy when you travel? That was the only time we over shopped when we were traveling. No. <laughs> no, it's not. That was one of the only time we ever over shopped. I don't think we That's sh all the time. No, so we ended up getting a suitcase, but we had just gotten married, so it's okay. Oh, okay. She's watching a kids drama movie. No, K drama. K, okay, drama movie. Sorry about that. So, how, how is the food Hi, going? Hey, Melly. Yeah. The food is going good. I just flipped the chicken. Um, it's going to be a while. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, we and got the, the chicken going, going here. Too. So, we were just showing that we got these, this Instapot for Atul's birthday. So, now instead of using the oven, we just put our chicken in there. And then, how is the rice going? The rice is going good too. It's yeah. almost you know, it's a bit done in a bit. Okay. Rice will be done in a bit. Okay. So that's almost done. Oh yeah. It, it's really cool. Actually, we've just had it for two two weeks. We got it two weeks ago. Atul has been making all kinds of stuff in it. He made fries. You can cook a whole chicken in there, by the way. You can really roast the whole chicken in that. And it has this little basket where you put like french fries in. Especially if you're two or four people, you can make a quick meal in there so we're trying it out we really like it's it it's guilt free cooking yeah or i have an excuse to call it as guilt free cooking you know you can cook things with very less oil you're not literally yeah. frying things in oil yeah so i think that's uh, one of the best parts of it yeah so none of the fries or anything like that is in oil it's just mm -hmm. being cooked in there and actually even the chicken and whatever fat or oil it just drip down into the drip pan so yeah try it out see if you like it yeah, a whole chicken. Yeah, we did a whole, you can do a whole chicken in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it has this nice rotisserie setting, so you can literally... You go ahead, go ahead. So you could literally put the whole chicken on a skewer, and it f rotates like those fancy ones that you see, you know, in restaurants and everything. So yeah, uh, might be a good thing, you know, if you want to impress someone. <laughs> yep. How's everyone's weekend been? Has everyone had a good weekend so far? It's really hot here where we are at uh, in California. Uh, things are closing down back, um, you know, because of the shelter in place. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it's some, yeah. Someone has a big birthday coming up next week. <laughs> oh yeah, but we can't we can't really do much this year yeah. because um, actually California is just going right back into restriction. The numbers are so high, so things are. Even outdoor patio is closing down now. Patio dining is closed. It's closed uh, in the down county now. that we are at, uh, patio dining is shut down. Yeah, so things are closing down, but it's okay. Can't complain. Uh, you just did one? Oh, you just had your birthday? Is that what you're saying? How, how was it? Happy birthday, belated birthday. Belated happy birthday. Yes. So these guys are done. Oh, you guys are 37. Cheers to that. <laughs> hey, we're right there with you. Atul just had his 37th birthday. <laughs> Celebrated two weeks ago, too. Yeah, check on your rice. I think the rice that's is good. almost done. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So let me walk you guys over to the rice. Do I need to pour, drain some water? Oh, okay. Um, see, so here we have the rice going. And this is an Arabic rice we're making. So while you're doing that, uh -huh. my, my seat kebabs are done. They're done? Okay, I'll bring it over there so we can see it. No, I'll just bring it here, honey. Okay. You're gonna bring, he's gonna bring his 
second. Oh, 32. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, now Atu just felt really bad about his age being called out. Oh, the rice is so easy to make. Um, actually, I'll show you in a bit. But here's the seek kebab. They're done. So yeah, these are very hot. So be careful. Yeah. So here's the seek kebab. These are ready to go. So. Jasmine rice is um that's what we use for basmati rice. No, 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 we use basmati. We use basmati because it's a long grain yeah, rice. Yeah, it's a long grain rice and it gives it the fluff a bit more. And by the way, um, I know Melly, you were asking about the Arabic rice. It's super easy to make. We just added the water in here and then we add some bay leaf cinnamon cinnamon sticks a couple pieces of cinnamon sticks a couple of cloves and cardamom and that was good enough for it yeah you're gonna drain out the water go ahead oh yeah this is this is an abaya and atul just talked about his earlier when we started a video of what he was wearing so we were saying that when we were in dubai you have to wear when we wanted to go see the grand mosque and certain places in dubai you have to wear um, clothes that cover your body. So actually we went to see the Grand Mosque and a lot of people that was on the tour, they didn't get to see it because they didn't know. So you had to cover your head and you had to wear something long. So I got this while I was there and he got his headpiece also while he was there and we wore it while we were traveling there. It made it much more easier for us. Yeah, I didn't need to cover mine, but you know, I just wanted to get it as a fun thing. Yeah, so you don't necessarily need to use a rice cooker for this because yep. so you know it's almost hair boiled Oops. Gotcha. sorry yeah so, uh -huh. and then you're gonna drop this in honey yep so the rice is almost done you don't have to put it in a um hang on the camera is a bit yeah sorry guys we're having camera difficulties Keep them back, so. as yeah. usual all the time yeah So the rice is almost done and then the thing about Arabic rice that you notice is it has this yellow color. It has a little bit of um, color to it and that's where you that's where you add the, um, hang on one second, let me get it for you guys so I can show you. The saffron. Yeah, where's the bottle? Oh, here it is. You add some saffron in some water and to make it a little bit more yellow, I add some food color. And you just pour it in one spot actually because you still want some of the rice to look white and you leave it like that and then where's the cover I'll let it steam a little bit more and then I'm gonna pour it out into a bowl I will show you guys the whole meal prep yep I'll let it soak for a bit yeah Melly I'm so happy you're feeling better and if you're doing better, I know you had a little bit of a skier, but you're doing so much better. I'll be seeing you on Instagram, putting all your food pick over. <laughs> Let me get a bowl so I can add that rice in. I love the air fryer because I don't have to do a whole lot of cleanup. Oh yeah, you. Oh, by the way, that's another pro of the air fryer. You don't have to do any cleanup. Everything is just done into that pot. No, okay. Yes. Do I mean? How is the chicken going? The chicken is Oh, let me walk too. this over. It's so almost done. Uh, I flipped it one time. I'm gonna flip it another time just now. Mhm. Mm Gonna be careful. Pretty hot in there, huh? Yeah. Gotta get, my you gotta get a bigger one. skewer. 
Don't even try to do this Thongs. with a tiny thong. Yeah. Yeah, this is almost done too. Oh. It's looking so juicy in there. Yeah, it makes very, it makes the food super juicy. Hola, hi Steph. So we're almost done. We're waiting for that. We have the skewers going here. Let's bring the rice over. I think the rice is nice and ready to be poured in here. Yes. I'm going to need this. Put it back down there so I can grab it with the spoon. And you have the rice. It gets really fluffy. Yeah. Okay, so this bowl can only hold about that much. So I'll leave some of it over there. And look at this, guys. Ooh, this turned out so lovely and you see that so you see a little bit of yellow a little bit of white and that's kind of the color what makes it look so awesome but it's just regular rice with some spices in it get our skewer ready it's a big wait process today as we're waiting for all the food to get cooked today Everybody's having a dobby. Damn song. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I hope oh, yeah, the food is looking really good. Yeah. I just can't wait to. It's looking good, and I'm so hot in this outfit, you guys. I am sweating how hot it is here. Woo. So, how long would you think you have? Oh, you should have about two more minutes. Yeah, a couple more minutes. It's almost done. Um, oh, let me move it up close by so you guys can see. What did you say? That's what he said, but patient, I can't <laughs> Check out how it's cooking. Turn the light on. You see how all the oils are dripping to the bottom too? Where are you? Where are you from? Where are you coming in from? I saw you said hello in Spanish. Are you here in the U.S. or where are you coming in from? Joining us. So you want to give me? Okay, I'll get it. I'll start plating up because Atul is almost done. Yep, and uh, I'm going to check if the internal temperature of the chicken is 160. If it is, then we're good. Okay. So it's good to have a thermometer so you can check your chicken. Let me lay it. Look at the smoke coming out of the rice. The steam. steam. The steam. Yeah. And, yeah, and again, we use basmati rice because um, it's just much more easier. It has this long, skinny grain rice, so it looks really good. And then you just plate this up like this. And whenever you're ready with your chicken, That's one thing when you're doing IG live, you have to wait while the food cook. So I try to come up with different things to talk about and I show you guys some of the stuff we bought while we were there. But when you're cooking meat also, there's a waiting process. Oh, you could, uh, okay. So if you want me to put yep. it on the plate. Yep, can you add the chicken piece right there? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. And there you had it, guys. There's one of the traditional meals we had while we were in Dubai. So it's an Arabic rice with kebabs and chicken. 
Mm, that looks a lot of yum. Yeah. Eat it. Looks very delicious. So that's what we are having for dinner. If you guys are having breakfast or dinner, depending on what time zone you are in, I hope you have a good weekend and enjoy yourself. And you saw us in this outfit just today, but it's so hot to wear this outfit. So we're gonna take it off right after this video. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna change out of this. Well, thanks for joining everyone, and yes. you guys have a good weekend. Yep, bon appetit. Oh, let me not drop this off, it's yes. not gonna be that way. So have a great weekend. Thank you guys for joining us so much. <laughs> I know. Our neighbors just moved out. Actually, you, she sent me that and I was like, yeah, our neighbor just moved out. You're going to have to move in. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys, guys so much bye -bye. for joining. Bye, everybody.